I'm Shane Sellers, and we're at the Castle Post in Brussels, Kentucky, for the All-Star Jockey Poker Tournament, benefiting the Sumunye Project in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Our hope this is to raise enough money to build a headquarters house in the heart of where we do our community outreach, food banks, and HIV-assisted programs. When I went to Zululand with my business partner, Bridget Parker, last spring, I said I was going to dig in my own pocket and do something to help these people and children, and I have. In spite of the weather, we had somewhere between three and 400 people that came out to support the Samunye project. The poker tournament was the idea of Shane and Javier. Javier Torres, who's the clerk of scales at Keeneland, as well as Churchill Downs. We have some of the top jockeys from the sport tonight, like Gene Fugay, Cisco Torres, Robbie Alvarado, Craig Clint, Johnny Velasquez, Rosie Napravnik. We raised the money for the Simone Project, and for Gino too, for Gino too. <laughs> there were over a hundred poker players, and a lady from Lexington won it. It was really, really quite cool, because all of the men thought, well, she's no threat. She walked away with the whole thing. The auction items were really fun items. One of them was a day at the Derby uh, in the jocks room that brought a tremendous, tremendous amount of money. One was one of the most beautiful villas in Mexico. Woohoo! We're going to Mexico, boys. Tonight is special because I have reached out to a lot of my friends and colleagues from the industry and asked them to not only support the cause, but also enjoy themselves in a fun night of poker, good food, good people, and some amazing auction items. Simone, this is for you. We raised enough money to build the Simone house. It just was a spectacular event. The Simone project started uh, with building the school so that they could get some form of education early in life. As you get into the lives of these people, and you realize that there are so many people that are off the grid, that are starving, that are living way be below substandard. It's truly amazing that this is going on in today's age. We started by helping one or two. It has blossomed into the Simone Project. Chief Baella has been so welcoming to the Simone Project uh, I believe he sees it as, as a vehicle to be able to help his people. I think he's seen the results of so much of the work that we've done in the area. And I think that's why he gave us that wonderful piece of property to build our headquarters on. Chief Baella gave us the property right next to his village. He told me that he wanted us there to make sure that we were all taken care of. With being next to him, he has taken us under his wing. It's really incredible, and I dare say one of the first times that's happened in this area. He walks down to the house, looks at the house every day. I think he thinks it's very, very important. It wasn't so much all of the problems, it was getting the solutions to them, getting in there, and getting to where we could start dealing with the issues that we had come down to deal with. Timba has been the backbone here of the Simone Project. There is no limit to what he does for the project. I wonder sometimes if we could operate without him because he's the go-between on many, many different occasions that we need a go-between, a member of the Zulu community, and uh, he has never failed in the least. That smile in every child that you see walking in here, them looking at those gifts, because we haven't given them the gifts yet, but they keep looking at those gifts. That just takes off. You know the stress that we've had? That just walks away. I could do it over and over again, no problem, because it's such a great feeling to see that happening. My name is Jeffrey from the Smunye Project. Jeffrey has been a friend of mine for approximately 16 years. He is a deacon in his church. And he actively seeks out people that are in desperate, desperate need of food or help of some kind. All people will be giving some food. Now, I think it's very nice because everyone, they, they're so happy. I saw the tears, they're crying, the tears of happy. He brought us another lady 
she has a son that was involved in an accident that's left him in a wheelchair. She is very concerned about his education. There are no schools that will accept him in the local area. The Samunye Project is hopefully going to be able to find a school that he could go to on a boarding basis. My name is Eric and I'm working for Samunye Project. Uh, we're here at Fangomo School, which was built by Samunye Project. And we are here now to celebrate with the kids, to give them sandwiches, t-shirts, and uh, toothbrushes, everything. So I hope and they'll be having a wonderful day today. Whenever anyone with the Samunye Project is in South Africa, Eric comes over to act as an interpreter, a driver, another pair of hands to help, and has become very involved in the community as well. Jabula is passionate about the Samunye Project. He has blossomed. He stepped up. His English is getting better. His biggest concern is that he get out in the community to find these people that desperately need help. Also, I want to say something about Dudu who has handled the food bank here for the Smunye Project for years and has worked tirelessly to take care of it, to see that these people have something, and has been, like Jeffrey, an amazing, amazing, amazing part of the team. Kaka, who is another member of the uh, Samunye Project, has never had a home, but he can do anything. He is quite a builder, so he is up building his home right next to our house so that he'll be there he can act as a watchman. Uh, he does so many things in the area and has become very involved in the community as well. And now to come to fetch the lady that we need to be helped. I would think one of the highlights to me was the old lady and Simpiwe and being able to make such a difference. Simpiwe comes to the house now, takes a shower every day, has a good hot meal every day. His grandmother is not going to have to drink water with the worms in it anymore. She's got a water tank, her hut is clean got new blankets. I think it's made a real change in her life. Some pee will be under our wing for years now, as well as the old lady, with Kaka and Jabula looking after him. And now that we've implemented the Samunye outreach program, I think her quality of life will be much better. I think that everybody has a responsibility in their life to do what they can. Don't you cry. What they're capable of to alleviate the suffering of others. That's really what the Samunye Project's all about, is helping somebody, getting them on their feet, and then moving on to the next family. We were able to see a woman yesterday that Bridget and the Samunye Project were able to provide them food that would last she and her family for three months. And she just fell into Bridget's arms and cried. And it was the most heartwarming, touching thing I've seen in so long. The next day, we bought her a food package and delivered it. Um, this is why it's so important, because uh, uh, we never would have caught that woman. Are we ready for the Christmas party tomorrow? Oh, yes. These children need these t-shirts, and we're happy to be given. And what else did you bring from the States for the Simone Christmas party? A thousand toothbrushes. <laughs> the Shane Sellers' uh, contribution to this is phenomenal. Uh, because now we have a headquarters which puts us smack in the middle of the community. Uh, we have a place to stay so that m our money can be concentrated on the people, not on hotels. Uh, we can reach out and touch the community. How do you think this event is going? going real well. Very well. We've got all of the kids in the area here, probably 350, 400. This just happens to be the corner of the world that I landed in. I have seen a 
huge difference over the last 15 years. I believe in my heart that if you can alleviate the pain and suffering for one person during your life, you've done a good, good thing. I want to thank everyone that has contributed, that has helped uh, through time or money to relieve the suffering of so many people down here. I'm Shane Sellers and we are the Samunye Project. I am Angela and we are the Samunye Project. I'm Mary and this is the Samunye Project. I am a Jeffrey. Uh, for the Smunye project. We're happy to uh, help the Smunye project today. Thank you, Smunye project. Thank you, Smunye project. Thank you, Smunye project. Hello, Smunye project. Thank you, Smunye project. Yeah. I'm Gabulo. I'm we are the Smunye project. We are the Smunye project. Yeah, the Smunye project is all about Smunye. Yeah. Yeah. We are one, and we are the Smunye. Yeah.